Before starting this video, I do want to give a shout out to my patrons that support the channel. And if you'd like to support the channel, there are some great benefits for you if you want to look at the Patreon link down below. So with that out of the way, let's get into this week's video. What's going on YouTube? This is Devin coming back at you with another video today on Pub Stomp MTG. Glad to have you here. Today we got some exciting news, and I mean some exciting news, about a new Mirror Commander. I know it's been spoiled recently in a leak, but however, I did want to talk about it when it officially published. And here we have it. We have Urtet, Remnant of Memnarch. And if you don't know who Memnarch is, he is another legendary creature wizard. He's in the lore somewhere. And he was taking care of Mirrodin while Karn was away. He got jealous of Karn because he was able to planeswalk. He wanted to be able to planeswalk himself so that he could, I don't know, do whatever he wanted. I, I don't know the full story of the lore. Uh, there's a lot of lore channels out there if you want to go check that out. However, we're not here to talk about Memnarch. We're here to talk about his Remnant with Urtet. This is absolutely a great commander for your Mirror Tribal deck. I will say it does remind me a little bit of Goshintai of Life's Origin, where it does have a Wooburg ability, and on top of that, whenever you cast a Shrine, you make a Shrine token. So very similar here with Urtet. Whenever you cast a Mirror spell, create a 1-1 colorless Mirror Artifact creature token. So Urtet does read, at the beginning of combat on your turn, untap each mirror you control, and it has a Wooburg ability, and tap it, put three 1-1 one -one counters on each mirror you control, activate only during your turn. So essentially the goal of the deck is to have a lot of mana dorks out so that we can tap our commander so that we can pay into that ability, buff up all our mirrors, and then at combat we can untap all our mirrors to go swing in. There's also a pretty sweet combat trick. If you give your mirrors vigilance, for example, at the beginning of combat on your turn, untap each mirror, you swing with them, and then uh, if they do have vigilance, you could tap them again to pay into that Wooburg ability so that they're swinging for a whole lot more damage, more like six counters on each of them instead of just three counters. So you're probably thinking to yourself, what kind of mirrors do I want to add to this list? Well, honestly, any kind you want to throw in there. I added these up here just because they tap for Wooburg, for example, if you want to pay into uh, your commander's ability. Because our commander has a crazy ability of putting three 1-1 one -one counters on our creatures, we can put whatever kind of mirrors we want on the battlefield. So that's why I'm not going to really talk about mirrors too much because they're going to be a super type with our commander on the battlefield. So you can kind of add whatever kind of mirrors you want. I do have a deck list down below if you do want to check out what mirrors I did put in this deck specifically. So the focus for the rest of this video is more to kind of put what kind of cards in here to kind of buff up our creatures, also to protect them, and also some great value plays with our mirror tokens. So the first thing I thought about is the fact that our mirrors are artifacts, so we have some great abilities to buff up our mirrors like Tempered Steel and Urza, Prince of Krug. They have that great ability of artifact creatures you control, get plus two, plus two, and on top of that with Urza, we can make some tokens if we are in a pinch. Also another card I feel like would personally kick so much butt in here would be Shared Animosity because whenever a creature you control attacks it gets plus one plus zero until end of turn for each other attacking creature that shares a creature type with it. Again because we're putting a lot of different mirror tokens or mirrors on the battlefield all those mirrors are going to gather up and swing for a lot of damage so that's why I feel like this is a great card to add to this list because it's just a three mana enchantment and you're going to be swinging in for a huge amount of damage for it. So we do want to get a lot of value plays off of our mirrors because we want to make sure we can tap them right away. So we do have Alibu Ancient Witness which gives all artifact creatures you control haste. And also on top of that whenever one or more artifact creatures you control attacks, Alibu Ancient Witness deals X damage to any target and you scry X or X is the number of tapped artifacts you control. So this card could give us definitely a great advantage while using our mirrors while they're tapped and attacking. However, we do want to get a good amount of card advantage, so that's why I put in Lost Shield, Clockwork Scholar, and Kindred Discovery in here. We're going to be adding so much mirrors into here, so we want to make sure we get a lot of value off of our mirrors by getting some card advantage. I did also want to mention some great mirror support because there are going to be a lot of great mirror support tribal cards in here like Genesis Chamber, Mirror Turbine, and Mirror Reservoir. I will say the price has skyrocketed recently because of this commander, obviously. A lot of people are really excited for this commander, but kind of like Goshintai, they kind of, a lot of the cards kind of fell off with Goshintai, so I'd kind of wait to see what these prices are in the future. I would say in a month or two after the hype kind of slows down, but these are really great cards for your Mirror Tribal deck. 
I especially think Mirror Turbine is absolutely going to be a house in this deck. Putting just a colorless 1-1 one, one Mirror Artifact Creature token on the battlefield is great. This is absolutely just a great card to have into the deck so that you can search for more Mirror Creature cards and put them onto play on the battlefield. So I think this is just a great overall include. Again, it's going to be high priced right now because of the hype, so I would just be wary of that. So now let's add some other legendary creatures that are absolutely perfect for this deck. I absolutely love Bruticlad. It's a great card by itself. Giving our creature tokens haste is really great, especially because our commander is just going to be pumping a lot of mirrors onto the battlefield that are tokens. And also on top of that, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may create a 2-1 blue Phyrexian mirror artifact creature token. Then it has that great ability of you may choose a token you control. It, each token will be a copy of that token specifically. So if you want to make a mirror off of that 2-1 blue Phyrexian Mirror Artifact Creature Token, you can, or another big beefy creature token as well. So I do want to mention one more card on this video with Mirror Battlesphere. I love this card for a lot of different reasons. It does have a great Enter the Battlefield ability of making four 1-1 colorless Mirror Artifact Creature Tokens. Just by that self, it's great. It's making technically five bodies when it enters the battlefield, if you're counting itself. And on top of that, whenever it attacks, you may tap X untapped mirror creatures you control. If you do, mirror battlesphere gets plus X plus zero until end of turn and deals X damage to a player or planeswalker it's attacking. So what's great about this with the commander is you could tap your mirrors for mana. For example, if you have the five color mirrors in your uh, game, and then because of your commander, they'll be all untapped. And then what you could do is easily put it into Mirror Battlesphere to make Mirror Battlesphere even huger. I mean, if that's even a word, but honestly, Mirror's Battlesphere is just going to be a wrecking ball just right here, as you can see on the image. <laughs> but it's just a great card to add to this list. I like it a lot, mainly because it really supports that Mirror Tribal for sure. However, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming by and watching this video on this new commander, Urtat Remnant of Memnark. To be honest, this is probably going to be one of the more popular commanders from this set. I know it's technically from the, I want to say, the set booster packs. I want to say, I'm want i not 100% sure, but honestly, super fantastic card. However, I do want to say it's going to be a niche strategy. I did mention before previously, uh, don't try to buy into the hype. Maybe wait a month or two to see what the prices are going to be. And if you're watching this from the future, like from a year from now, hopefully the prices are down. If they're not, I'm sorry, I, I guess I, I should have put a disclaimer right here. I'm not 100% accurate, I can't see the future. But what I can see is these uh, cards kind of going down a little bit in the future. However, do you feel like you're going to be building this new commander? Let me know down below in the comments. I think this is a pretty fun commander if you want to play, especially in the five color mirror tribal deck. I think it's just going to be a house to deal with and to play with. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That's definitely the best way to support the channel. And with that out of the way, thank you for stomping by.